finding the total when part and percent are given. Let's look at an example. Fred told Steve that he had to make a 25% down payment for a used car he bought. Fred paid $575 down. What was the cost of the car? As a solution, we write $575 is 25% of what number? If we think about that logically, that must mean the car cost more. So when we're looking for the total cost of the car, our answer should be larger than $575. Since the $575 is 25% of the total cost, and 25% is one-fourth, we should think that the cost of the car should be approximately four times larger than the 575. It's good to think of an estimate in your mind so that you know if your answer is reasonable when you're through. Let's place these numbers now in our percent circle so that we can solve this problem. The number with the percent symbol, 25, goes in the lower left-hand corner. You have that memorized. The 575 is the part. It's only part of the cost of the car. And if you're not sure, remember that the number right after the word of is always your total. There is no number there, so your total is missing. If we hide that part, we know we have to divide 575 divided by 25%. So let's go to our calculator. 575 divided by 25% gives us a cost of $2,300 for the car. If we want to think back, is that reasonable? First, it is larger than $575, and it's approximately four times larger. Four times five is 20, so you know your answer is in the right ballpark we know we've got the correct answer of $2,300. If your calculator does not have a percent key, then you're going to need to divide 575 divided by 25%. But remember, you know how to change that percent into a decimal. So it would be 575 divided by 0.25. This you could put into your calculator 575 divided by 0.25, and you too would get the same answer of $2,300 for the price of the car. Andrew and Kathy bought a TV for 40% off the list price. They said they saved $230. What was the list price for the TV? Let's do the math. Andrew and Kathy said they had a discount of 40% for the TV that they bought, and they saved $230. So we want to find out what is the price that Andrew and Kathy paid for the TV. So what do we have here with the percentage circle? We have the, we want to find actually the total price that was paid. So we want to find the T. So T equals P, the part, over the percent. So T equals the part is $230 divided by 40%. Now we can convert the 40% into a decimal. Just move it two places, so that will equal 0 0.4. So it's 230 dollars divided by 0.4. Let's just clear the calculator. 230 divided by 0.4, that will equal, so the price is $575. So Andrew and Kathy, they got a discount of 40%, and they saved $230. They paid $575. There's another way that we can also do it with this calculator. Instead of converting the percentage, we can just divide with the percentage. And check your calculator, see how it works. So we put the part in, 230, 
divided by 40%, and that gives us the same answer of $575. So you can, on this particular calculator, you can use the percentage and divide with the percentage. Some calculators, you have to convert it to the decimal. You have to find out on your calculator what you can do. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.